I'm Riley from Pack Hacker, and today we are taking a detailed look at the Matador Pocket Blanket 2.0. I've been testing this for about two weeks now, and I have some things I want to note. You can head on over to packhacker.com for the full written review, link in the description below, and let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about this blanket. So as you can see, when it's compressed, it's pretty small. It fits, you know, in the palm of your hand. It's about the size of a deck of cards. And this is great because it's super easy to pack away. You know, you can even just slip this into your pocket if you don't have room in your pack, but super easy to pack. And the nice thing about this particular colorway, we've been testing the original red colorway, is this pouch is Super easy to spot when we have it in our pack, so we're not just, you know, scavenging around for it when we need to find it. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up, give you a look inside, just gotta point out this Matador logo right here too before we do that. But yeah, so you're just gonna slip this off and then just nice and neatly unfold it. And there we go. So as you can see, this tarp is, or blanket, although it feels a little bit more like a tarp because this material is pretty thin, but it is called a blanket. This blanket fits about one person with, you know, lots of stuff. So let's say you are, you know, going out to the park and you have some work you need to get done and you want to set your backpack here and your laptop here, some books here, maybe your lunch. It has definitely room for all of that. It's advertised to fit up between two and four people, though we found that, you know, even with two people, it can get a little tight, especially if you have a whole bunch of stuff with you. So, you know, if you have four people with you and you're trying to get them all to fit on this blanket and they all have stuff with them, some of that stuff is probably going to have to sit on the ground, which is just something to note. But talking a little bit more about this material, like we said, it feels more like a tarp than a blanket. This material is you know, pretty thin. It kind of feels and reminds us of that swishy material you'll see in the lining of some packs. We have found it to be you know, pretty water resistant. We spilled some water on this blanket during testing and it beads off pretty quickly and easily, which is nice, you know, so if you, it starts to rain or anything while you're outside. You don't have to worry about this blanket getting all messed up, which is great. It also stays pretty clean. We've used it quite a few times, and you know, even after those few uses, there's not a whole bunch of hair or dirt or grass or anything on it, which is nice. It still stays pretty clean. And it's held up pretty well durability-wise also. We don't have any scratches or scuffs or anything to note, which is good. You have a Matador logo here with the, some bright, bright red material here. It also has a pretty distinct grid pattern that we'll hold up so you can see here that kind of gives it a bit of like a techie vibe, which we've been digging. There are also some interesting features on here that are really helpful, or we found them to be really helpful during testing. So on each corner, there's a metal weight in here or a stake really, but when you have it slipped into this little slot, it acts as a weight. So if you, you know, have this blanket on the ground and you don't want it getting all jostled around, this helps it stay a bit more secure. And then, you know, if it starts to get really windy out, you can actually take this stake, which is attached with some, you know, nice and flexible elastic. You can stick this into the ground, and then that really helps it stay secure. Again, so if a breeze rolls in, it's not you know, flailing away in the wind. You don't have to go running after it, which is nice. That's a nice, thoughtful design. And then same thing on this corner. You also have a bit of a pocket here. And this is great if, like, let's say you're taking a solo trip to the beach, you know, and you want to lie out on this blanket. You can fill this pocket with sand, and then it kind of acts as like a weight which helps keep the blanket secure again. So, you know, if the breeze picks up, it's not flying away from you, which is super thoughtful. We definitely think this is a neat integration and we appreciate that. Something else that we like about this blanket is that you'll notice there's some red stitching here. We'll hold it up so you can see it's nice and visible. 
But the great thing about this stitching actually is that it's a guide to how to pack this thing back up. You know, it can be a little frustrating when you're trying to fold a blanket yourself, but this makes it a lot easier. So, so what you're gonna do is just start here from the ends and fold in half. Fold in half again. And then you always want the stitching to be visible so that way you have you know, the rest of the steps that you know you need to take for folding it. But basically you're just gonna fold this in half a whole bunch of times. Half again. Just gonna keep folding it in half. until eventually it is once again compact and then you can take this pouch now this part takes a little bit of finagling but still pretty smooth you can fold this over and probably wasn't the cleanest fold, but still, the point is, is that it's really easy and that guide is super helpful, so you know that you can just keep folding this in half and eventually you are gonna end up with a nice compact blanket that you can take with you anywhere. So yeah, that is the Matador Pocket Blanket 2.0. You can head on over to packhacker.com for more information and the best buying options that help support the channel at no additional cost to you. Link down below and we'll see you in the next video.